Next on the, uh, on the hot seat, hold it. Next on the hot seat, we have this idiot, Rick Schooler. Oh. Now, Rick. Oh, hold, hold, hold. I cannot, hold, go down your I cannot believe, Rick, that you are standing by and defending this rodent, this man who has proved himself to be a wolf in sheep's clothing, like I always said he was, Mikhail Gorbachev. Oh. First of all, we have to start this conversation off by saying, you're a jerk, and I'm always right. Oh! Okay. Now... Wait a minute, wait a minute! Now that we've got that taken care of, let's discuss something here. No, no. Okay. Now, now, no, hold on, no, no, I, I'll reply. Hey, hey, you know what? All we have to do to give this audience a huge laugh is rip off his stupid cap and show his bald head. And now take a look, and now take a look at my beautiful hair. You see, it's very obvious, it, it's very obvious that he's jealous, isn't he? Now, let's get down. No, answer, no. No, no, first, answer my question. Right. Why are you supporting Gorbachev? Well, if we would have listened to him in the first place and took that, the peace plan that he, you know, proposed, we'd have a lot more American people alive oh, than we God. did. Oh, you know, you know I, I, did a, I did a show here the day the war broke out, and it's the same thing tonight. These people aren't even old enough to be drafted, so what are they even worried about? I have news, I have news for you. Every single person of mine is, is, is old enough to tear you limb from limb. Hey, these guys and hey, these guys in my audience are great Americans. Yeah! And, they look it. and they these look it. guys and these people in my audience know that Gorbachev is a jerk. Yeah! Now, Rick, let me respond to your statement. Let me respond to your statement. If we had accepted Gorbachev's peace proposal when he first called for a ceasefire, I'll respond to that. If we had gone along with that peace proposal, what would have happened is... Uh, we would have had a lot more people I'm alive. You, I'm answering you. Oh. What would have happened is our friend Saddam Hussein would have retained his power and his army and his arms, and he merely would have regrouped, and when he was ready, he would have done the same damn thing all over again. No, no, no. That's Saddam, what would have happened. Saddam Hussein, Hussein can do the same thing now. No, we, we can always regroup. We've destroyed. We can always regroup. You see, you don't know what you're talking about. We have completely destroyed his entire oh, military, no. haven't we? Why no. do you think? Why do you think, Rick, that thousands, some now over fifty thousand of the Iraqi soldiers surrendered without even fighting? They told the American soldiers they didn't want to no. fight. They no. had no idea. They offered no resistance because they knew that Saddam Hussein was a well, maniac like we did, and they wanted us to maniac. get rid of him. I, I'm, not, I'm not disagreeing with you that Hussein is a maniac, but what we have to realize is why we're over there in the first place. We have to admit that Americans are nothing more than oil addicts, and we will no, do... No. What? No, 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 and we will do... No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Americans will cheat, lie, steal, kill, bomb, maim to get that daily fix of oil. Oil. And I'll bet he's done all of those things himself. Okay. I, we're talking about Gorbachev. We're talking about Gorbachev. I say Gorbachev sticking his nose into this, in, into the war. I think it was a good thing. I say, it was a good thing. I say Gorbachev had no right to get involved in this. Oh, come on, come on. He was trying, he was trying to find a peaceful solution to this situation. That's better than what Bush did. No, wrong. Bush came in wrong. and just blew the hell out of everybody. Let me, yeah. That just goes to show you that, that this country will blow away anybody for, well, you know, what, for the sake of oil. What do you consider your friend Mr. Gorbachev was doing in Lithuania and Latvia, shooting no, people well, on the streets? we're not talking about that. We're not oh, talking about I'm that. Oh, I'm talking about that. I'm talking about we're that. We're talking about 
no, we're no, talking no. about the Persian Gulf. And what no, no, he hold on, Rick. Well, Rick, I'm saying... What he tried to do Rick, was... Wait, Rick, 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 Rick. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What I'm saying is, you have got to admit, Gorbachev is a lousy hypocrite while he's... No, wait a minute. He's not. While no, he's, he's not. While, wait a minute. I'm not through yet. We while, have, have been in negotiations. While he's criticizing... Wait, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're no, I'm, not through. Through. I'm not through yet. I'm not through yet. While, while he is criticizing us for what we were doing militarily, he had just gotten through blowing away no, innocent citizens in Lithuania. Yeah. What hypocrisy. We have... Because of that, man, we have better uh, negotiations with uh, uh, the Soviet Union than we've ever had. Because, because of what, of, man? Because of Gorbachev. Because of Gorbachev. Do you know Gorbachev, Gorbachev, uh, Gorbachev, Gorby, he, Gorby. he actually threatened us. He said to, uh, to our president, George Bush, only a few days ago, that if we didn't cease fire, if we didn't listen to him, then he was going to ruin the relationship that they had. And I think oh, pres big deal. President Come Bush, on. yeah, that's what President Bush should have said. He should have said, "Big deal." Yeah. No. What, what, I think what, what that... Bob Dole said, what Senator Bob Dole said on the Senate floor was right. He said, Mikhail Gorbachev should butt out. Yeah. No, 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 no. Anytime, anytime you have a situation where there's people getting killed in masses, anybody that can try to find a peaceful uh, solution, I think we ought to at least hear him out. No. Yes, we, we should hear him out. We did hear, hear him out. What, what he and was... we should have taken that offer. We could have got a lot more Americans out of there quicker. No, no. How many of these people here have relatives or brothers or sisters over there? And we want them out of there. Do you we don't know, want your brothers and your sisters killed. We want them out. Do you realize? We want them back home in America, where they belong. Don't you? Don't hold on. Don't you realize, you stupid idiot? Don't you realize that in less in less than two weeks? We won the war against this tyrant. Wait, Hussein. it's not over yet. How long are we going to have to occupy that country? We're going to be there. We're going to spend billions of dollars rebuilding everything. No, we're not. No, oh, we're not. Oh, you, Saddam oh, Hussein. Oh, Saddam oh, Hussein. The United Nations resolutions hold Saddam Hussein responsible for rebuilding Kuwait. Oh, I'll be right back. Oh. I'm Seat Show. Don't forget. You people here in Southern California, every Wednesday, I, I, I have the pleasure of, of uh, really showing Rick Dees the sleaze what he should do and what he should not do. Yeah. Uh, every Wednesday morning at about 10 to 8, join me for Wally's World on KISS FM when I show Rick the right way, right? Yeah. I put Dees the sleaze in his place, and he should be. Okay, all right. Now, we have Rick Schooler here, who is trying to defend Mikhail Gorbachev. Oh. You, you know, Rick, Gorbachev has never been our friend. He's a great... Wait, he, oh, wait I think mean, he's trying. He's, he's he's great, trying. No, he's not trying. He's a great actor. He's, he's, oh, well, well he's your great, best buddy Reagan was the best actor president we ever had. Ronald Reagan oh, come on. was a sincere... Oh, come on. The guy was a marionette puppet. He was on oh. strings. Are you kind of... He's trying to compare Ronald Reagan to Gorbachev? Uh, if, wait, wait. If I, if I did that, I'd have to say Gorbachev would be much better. Though. Oh! As far as a leader, yeah. Hey, 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 I gotta, hey, I gotta check in to make sure he's not a member of the Communist Party. You dare to say Gorbachev was, was better than Ronald Reagan, well, one of the greatest it's... presidents in the history of the United States? Oh, come on. It's only, it's only because Ronald Reagan beefed up our, our own military, uh -oh. beefed up the expenses of the military, that we were able to score the big victory we had, oh, we, had we... over Saddam Hussein. Oh, great. Yeah. And what did we win? What did we win? What did we win? We, we won oil. We, we won, won oil. We won justice and democracy oh. and freedom for all. Yeah. That, USA, USA, that is the USA, uh, USA, 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 USA. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, how long did it teach? How long did it take you to teach from those three? Uh, no. See. See. No. You see. Hold on. You see. Nobody, nobody had to teach them 
Unlike you, you pervert, they are good Americans. Oh, they look like... I say... No, 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 no. I'm telling you, Rick, Gorbachev is no friend to us. He used his PR campaign to come over here to... Oh, Wait, all let me finish! Let all me finish! Do that. He came over here... Let me finish the sentence, for God's sake. Now, well, shut up. Hurry up. What I'm saying is... He came over here into this country and tried to use us. He needed oh. us to prop him up because he was sagging at home. No, 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 no. He tried to use us, no. and he did use us, but he's not going to use us anymore. Now, I think, I think uh, uh, Gorbachev uh, has done a lot for the relations between the United States and uh, the Soviet Union. It's the other people... Uh, involved with him, his, uh, his uh, people that, you know... Hurry up, you're boring us all to death. <laughs> it's his colleagues that are bringing him down, the conservative colleagues in the Congress. Oh, it's, oh I see. How do you explain then that just a few days ago, if it's just his colleagues bringing him down, how do you explain... The, he cannot how do you explain 100,000 Soviet citizens demonstrated against Gorbachev in well, Moscow? Yeah! How do you explain that? No, no, no. How do you explain he, that, Rick? He has colleagues just like we have here in the United 100, States. 100,000 colleagues? No, no, no. But he cannot change things overnight. I'm saying he Gorbachev... He cannot change things overnight. You have to give the man some time. He's trying. What I'm saying, Rick... We have what, the better, best what he was trying to do. Had. He was trying. He was trying to be on Saddam Hussein's side. Oh, he was come trying on. to save his skin. No. He was trying to convince us that he was our friend. But he didn't fool me. He didn't fool Gorbachev. He didn't fool anybody, did he? No. Gorbachev no. is in serious trouble, and he tried to save Saddam Hussein's hide so he could do business with him no, in the didn't. future. Oh, That's what he tried. On. Didn't he? Yeah. No. The, no, the, the reason he did that was, I think, was a, a, a peace plan that would help save American lives. I say, Rick, American I say, lives. Rick, I don't... Hold on, See, hold now, on. thing is, like I said before, Shh. like I've said before, you know, you're two months away from Social Security, so you don't have to worry oh, about going... Oh, yeah. yeah. And, hey, hey, you don't hold on, hold on, Rick. Wait a minute, Rick. Over, wait a minute, Rick. And, and I'll respond drive. to that. Yeah. I okay, and you're only one second away fr from the alley. You're out of here. Yeah.